what is the square root of 55? Now we know that 55 is not a perfect square which means the answer will not be an integer. In many exams, we are not allowed to use a calculator. What's the solution then? The best way to go about it is approximation. All we need to do is think of the two perfect squares 55 lies between. It lies between 49, which is 7 squared, and 64, which is 8 squared. That gives us a big, big hint. Root 55 lies between root 49 and root 64. It lies between 7 and 8. But that's not enough. What do we do now? Maybe we can find out how far 55 is from 49 relative to how far 64 is from 49. To know how far 64 is from 49, we find the difference between 64 and 49. That equals 15. And to know how far 55 is from 49, we find the difference between 55 and 49. That is 6. Now 6 over 15 will tell us how far the answer is from 7. 6 over 15 is 2 over 5, which is 0 0.4. So root 55 will approximately equal 7.4. First we found out the perfect squares 55 lies between. Then we found out how far 55 is from 49 relative to how far 64 is from 49. If you use the calculator, you would get the value as 7.416 which is very close to 7.4. Okay good, now try finding the square root of 210 in the same way. Root 210 lies between root 196 and root 225. 196 is 14 squared and 225 is 15 squared. Root 210 lies between 14 and 15. Now we just need to find out two things. How far 225 and 210 are from 196? 225 minus 196 gives us 29 and 210 minus 196 gives us 14. 14 over 29 is what we are interested in. 14 over 28 would be exactly half. As the denominator is slightly higher than 28, this fraction would be slightly lesser than half. Close to 0 0.48 or 0 0.49. We can say that root 210 will approximately equal 14.48.